Hello, I'm Guy Wilmot from Sea Island Coffee. We founded Sea Island Coffee about three years ago to focus on the rarest and most exotic coffees in the world. Uh, most of our coffees you find on our website, you can't find anywhere else. Uh, we work with our partners to source coffee from, for example, Pitcairn Island in the Pacific, the you know, mutiny on the bounty, to St. Helena Island, very remote island, very low production. Uh, and probably the, mo the more famous coffees you may have heard of, uh, such as Jamaica Blue Mountain, uh, Hawaii Kona, and Kopi Luwak. Um, these are actually, we're at the London Tea and Coffee Festival today, uh, exhibiting, and uh, these are our best sellers. Um, but as you can see off our website, we have so many other wonderful coffees from Maui Mocha to Tonga, uh, Santa Cruz. The list is endless, but you really can't find them from anywhere else. And this is what you know, we really want to be a niche coffee company, be different from everyone else. And the other thing that we've focused on is that a lot of people in the coffee industry, they just sell just normal coffee bags. If it's a, if it's a special coffee, we want it to be in special packaging, great gift items. Um, so I'll just quickly go through some of the coffees we're selling today. Uh, this is Kopi Luwak. Uh, in this case, it's the Philippine Alamid. We actually have four or uh, five other Kopi Luwaks. We're also getting a Jaku bird from Brazil, which is a, uh, a very special coffee. Um, Kopi Luwak is actually produced by Civic Cats. Um, which are little animals that live in the jungle and they actually feed on coffee cherries and they only choose the ripest coffees so the right, ripest red cherries they will they'll often go to a tree and then they'll come back later when you know some of the other cherries have matured so they're actually they they have great taste and obviously it goes through their system uh, which is the other funny thing I'm a special thing about about Kopi Luwak is it's, a, it's an animal coffee, it's processed by an animal and so it's then collected um, from the jungle floor. We actually serve wild Kopi Luwak uh, so the, the villagers they go out and they actually find the droppings uh, uh, and it's obviously cleaned and roasted, it's all hygienic and safe um, but the effect on of it going through the animal is actually very special uh, there's for example some of the caffeine is leached out of the bean uh, so it's actually less caffeine and the bitterness of the bean is reduced as well. So it's a very, very smooth coffee and the aroma, I mean, when I drink Kopi Luwak, I immediately know it's Kopi Luwak. Um, so this is, in this case, we're selling the Philippine Alamine Kopi Luwak today. Um, lovely packaging, I think. Um, then there is the Hawaii Kona, which is uh, obviously grown in Hawaii, in the Hawaii Kona belt. Um, Again, we won two, in the Great Taste Awards, we won two gold stars here. It's a great coffee. It's much more full body. This is for someone who really likes a strong coffee. Um, the reason why it's special is A, it's obviously very rare. Production's very low. It's a very small area. Very small farm farmers as well. This is not industrial. They're very small patches of land there where the coffee is grown. Uh, and um, it's also the microclimate because the, in the mornings it's much cooler and then in the afternoons it's much warmer but it's always changing because it's a maritime environment so the, the coffee cherries take longer to mature which means that the, the flavour is more well developed and it's a really, I, I love this for having breakfast time Cone is great then we have Blue Mountain, this is probably the most famous of the lot it is a signature luxury connoisseur's choice uh, it's very rare, very very popular in Japan um, I probably my favourite coffee um, it's probably because it's as a tea drinker, it's quite delicate. It's not one of these espresso coffees that's going to whack you in the face. Uh, it's more sophisticated than that. It's got a very delicate balance of acidity, body, uh, body and mouthfeel. Uh, we also, with this case, we won the Great Taste Gold as well. Uh, this is Clifton Mount Estate. Which is a I've actually visited the estate. Beautiful estate up in the mountains of Jamaica. Uh, very, very well looked after coffee. Very well processed. Um, it comes as tins, but also we've got um, lovely barrels because Blue Mountain Coffee uh, is famous as the only coffee in the world that's shipped in barrels. So this is obviously a miniature version, but you can see this is what we've done here. We, it's, this is what it looks like, but obviously we've chopped it up in half. Um, so, yeah, this is Sea Island Coffee. Um, we find that a lot of our customers keep on coming back, and we're just growing organically, so slowly, mainly online. Um, but it's going really, really well and we hope you enjoy and definitely try all the coffees 
Uh, another coffee I think you should all try is the Geisha coffee. It's wonderful. It's very different from anything else you'll try. It's very fruity and sweet. It's got a lot of kind of blackberry taste to it. It's awesome. Um, Sorry, why you decide to um, go for a special and unique coffee? A strange coffee. Well, because it's a, it was a gap in the market. You know, uh, everyone else is doing normal commodity coffees and uh, we found that there was, you know, that we kept on getting calls. Our other business is to do with importing Jamaica Blue Mountain. We actually import raw coffee and we kept on getting calls from people. Hi, I want this coffee. I want that coffee. And, uh, you know, we had the contacts to arrange all these rare coffees and um, it's, it, it's exciting and I'm passionate about it and that's probably the, the real reason why we, we started it. And you are working mainly online, you were saying. Yeah, you uh, don't have like a shop. Yeah, we don't have yet. a shop yet. Uh, okay. I really want to one day have a shop in uh, maybe in West London or something, uh, a small boutique coffee shop one day. It's, it's, in the, it's, in the, it's, a, it's a dream right now but hopefully we are in reality. Um, but we also sell on Amazon and eBay. Um, but we're always looking for distributors as well, so anyone who's interested in retail, do get in touch and um, yeah, enjoy. When is your favorite time for a coffee? All the time. I am a bit of a coffee addict, uh, apart from late at night, otherwise I can't sleep. Do you sell as well uh, no caffeine coffee? Uh, we don't sell decaffeinated coffee, uh, unfortunately, okay. we, because we focus on rare coffees and decaf. At the moment, we, we, we don't focus on that yet. Do you have any special target? Um, really, anyone who really appreciates coffee, uh, who wants to discover that it's, it's really like wine coffee. There's so much to it. The land has effect, the, mar the maritime, the, the uh, species of the coffee. It, it all has an effect. And once you learn that, you discover that there's so many flavors out there. It's not like, oh, you know, that just tastes like coffee. There's so many different flavors out there. So, um, there's a, there's a whole new world out there. Okay.